<laughs> no, what we're going to do this week is uh, Windows Server Update Services. Okay, is that going to go viral? I don't know what you Joomla mean. Joomla went, went Your Joomla one was pretty cool, actually, wasn't it? We had our website went mental. It did. Absolutely mental. I did enjoy that. What was the what was the highest number of people you ever noticed on the website as guests at one time? Um, I didn't actually do that much checking on the actual website and stuff, but oh, I imagine I, it was 30-odd. I, I no, we had 54 at one point. Okay. Which was, which was not bad, 54. Our poor little again. website must have been struggling a bit. And it's all cashed. Okay. It was mainly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna, what are we going to be doing? I told you, Windows Server Updates. No, it was in the, well, I know the title, but what are we going to be doing with it? We're going to be updating stuff. So, yeah, Windows Server Update Services, uh, we've done uh, the previous version, version 2. Yeah, we've done WSUS. We, that was I want to do something two. else. No, this is version 3. <laughs> it's, it's a whole one different. Oh, so this will go viral, because my Joomla 1 didn't go viral, exactly, my yeah. 1.5 did. Exactly. Gotcha. So, uh, Windows Server Update Services, as you know, you know the importance of updates. I think everyone knows you need updates. But... Nick, your clients in your office, do you keep them up to date? Well, when Microsoft does. <laughs> so you don't have an update infrastructure in place? No, no, no. I mean, it's just not worth it for a couple of laptops. Everyone runs Windows Update, and to be honest with you, I'm happy with that. And okay. But um, wouldn't you like to have central control? Wouldn't you like to know that your clients oh, are up to date? Nicky, I really would like central control. For wow. me, WSUS 2 just didn't do it. I just There weren't enough features in no, it for me to exactly. bother. Would 3 give me anything worth doing? I think it will. Let's uh, do it. I think it. you're going to really enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so um, WSUS, it's all about keeping your clients up to date. Okay. Okay, it's all about keeping them up to date. Now, the reason I'm looking at WSUS 3 at the moment is because, um, well, as some of you picked up on, I do a lot of, well, mainly I do a lot of SMS work. SMS. Uh, yep, and updating has often been one of the components of SMS. SMS has often uh, done all your client updates, and so now I can actually say, don't do it. Don't use SMS anymore, use WSUS3. I've got to ask you a quick question. You Go sent on. me an email and told me that your firewall and everything wouldn't allow it to come through. Yeah. It came through. Well, was that you who configured it? It wasn't my fault. No, it's St. Mary's. It was. Well, but I'll I, beat imagine, that. I imagine it's. I'll sent. beat that. I think that's okay. Oh, okay. They, they said I can do a podcast on what I've been doing. Oh, really? Yeah. Can we go to the hospital and film dead people? <laughs> <laughs> we go to the morgue, it'd be great. Anyway, WSUS. Yeah, keeping my clients up to date. Yeah. Right. So what I've got in front of me here, <laughs> my little test lab, I've got one domain controller, yep. and I've got one machine here which is actually running WSUS version 3 at the moment. Okay. Does it need to have it on its own server or is it... Doesn't need to be on could its be own bundled server. together. Yeah, it could be, but it, um, I hate saying things like this, but I suppose in, in theory it could be only DC, but if you're in a large company you'll, you'll, you'll think I'm stupid for stating that, mm. but you know, for, for your organisation... <laughs> It'd be funny. Just to, <laughs> Charming. Just, just to, but it could be a file server. Okay. It could be something like that. Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I've been, I have installed it on this machine before because it does take a little little while to actually install yep. and actually synchronize up with the internet. So let me just run through the prerequisites. Okay. You need to have IIS on your machine to start with. Mm -hmm. And the reason you need to have IIS is because that's how the clients connect up with it, you know, via HTTP. to It's actually port 80 as well. So you need IIS on it. And you also need something called Microsoft Report. Microsoft Report for year 2005. Now, all, all that enables you to do is generate nice graphical pie charts and stuff. It, it makes the, the console a bit more lively. Okay. Whereas the console on 2 was quite static and very tough. It was dull. Well, in I, fact, I, it was I, all I couldn't be bothered to install it. There was nothing about it that <laughs> made me want to. It was done via web browser as well, wasn't it? It was. It's yeah, a yeah. URL base, and that's, that's a real it. MMC. Yeah. So it's a, And we all know how good MMCs are. Some of them are all right. They're, I mean, they are pretty good. I mean, they're. they're um, I won't make a comment. 